You're ruining this man's life. You're chopping up children. Me... No. Okay, you're just chopping her up. That's fine. That's sweet. Just, yeah, having, just a, having a Halsey stew. Um, I'm gonna take a flashlight. <laughs> oh. I'm tall compared to Halsey's baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That shouldn't be a measurement, by the way, Dad. <laughs> how many, <laughs> how many Halsey's babies are you tall? <laughs> I'm at least five, Jesus. <laughs> this is such a weird podcast. Well, I don't this even know so where to strange. go from there. I need to get shit up. Should we, do, should we start again? No. <laughs> I think we say, should we start again at the beginning of every single pod we do right. record? I've um, got my answers. All right, sweet. Well, let me, let me explain what we're doing. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. so we're doing we're doing um, a desert island pod today. So it's a normal standard thing of you're in a desert uh, desert island. Okay. You're in one. You're in one. You're on one. You're 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 amongst one. You're you're amongst inside the world one. Life. Yeah. Inside <laughs> so you're you're on a desert island. Okay. Yeah. You can pick three luxury items. Mm. You can pick one soundtrack. Okay, so one album that is just going to be there's no there's no like boombox or CD player or whatever. It's just going to be playing. Okay, in the atmosphere. You can have it on constantly. vinyl. No, no. It's no, just, just playing. It's it's just playing through, playing through, through the, the air, like yeah, from the sky. It's just playing constantly right. on loop. Okay, and then you've got one celebrity. That you are going to have with you throughout your time, okay? You can choose whether uh-huh. it's someone you'd prefer to eat or someone you want to have a chin wag with, whatever. All right. All right? Yeah? Yep. I and can't wait three... to tell you mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's what we're going to do. You're going to have to pick a celebrity, you're going to have to pick a soundtrack, and you're going to have to pick your three luxury items, okay? Mm-hmm. And then we'll sort of just do it back and forth. So, Bao, what celebrity yeah, are you taking on your on your desert island? All right. So, I thought I thought about this mm-hmm. pretty 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 much pretty near, near. Thought about this quite a lot. Okay. Yeah. Go on. So, I thought you want someone me. who you'd probably get along with. Yeah. So, my first initial thought was Carl Pilkington. Oh, I thought of him. I thought it'd be good, and he on uh, an idiot abroad. He done a desert island like day. Yeah, and he he stayed there for a night. I don't know, I don't remember if he actually stayed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I went for Carl Pilkington, and then I thought, but what? Have you actually if... gone for him? No, no, no. I'm going through my thought process of how I got okay, to who I got. Okay, because I was going to say Carl Pil- Pilkington was one of the first people that came to my head because I was like, you get on with him, he'll have a good like. And I, with, I could just talk him. to him, but he would get on my nerves after a while. Yeah, probably. <laughs> So that's why I was like, maybe he would start getting annoying. Because he just moans, so, doesn't he? Yeah, exactly. But then I could just talk to him and find him so fucking funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to move my chair a bit. So I thought... Okay, Bao. <laughs> then I thought, I might want to have, I might wanna have someone who I... Maybe I get a bit frisky. Oh, you're picking, so I might you're go picking for someone a... to shag? <laughs> You, uh, don't yeah. tell me you're, you're choosing Rachel Adadeji. <laughs> no. I went, oh, I right. went for someone. I went for someone who maybe get it on a little bit with. Oh, I'll be a bit who lonely. you go for? I don't want to go with Cole Pilkington and be like, oh, need something. Oh, shit. It's Brian Ortega, isn't it? Oh, my God. I should have gone with Brian Ortega. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you would have been shagging That'd Brian be good, Ortega though. 24-7. Oh, that'd be sick. But no, I went, and then I thought, but then, what if they don't want to have sex with me? Yes, you can't pressure them into it, but they might they, get bored can't. enough to go for it. So, so, I went I went for a, a, I thought I might go for a meaty woman. A meaty but woman? But then I thought, but then I thought, what if, they, what if, like, it's fat? Like, as in... Bro, your, um, your, your thought 
thought process is starting to stress me out. You're, you're saying so, meaty woman and fat. I'm starting to get stressed where you're going. Yeah, so it's, this is mental, I know. This isn't offensive, so thought, is it? it? No, no, it's okay. okay. So I thought, if they don't have sex with me, I can just kill them and eat them. Yeah. Okay. Because so, that's, that's, that's yeah. a normal thought process to have. Exactly. So then I thought, what if, if they're a fat person... You're not going to eat the fat, are you? You're going to want more of a muscly person. You know what I mean? Oh, my phone just vibrated. Well, to be honest, I think you've just got to say who it is because you're stressing me out. <laughs> I've gone mad. So then I went for someone who's fitter. Mm. Like, they look sort of... They're like a fit person. So I went for Halsey. Of course okay. you've fucking gone for Halsey. You're always going for Halsey. <laughs> Well, she looks like she goes to the gym, so I thought she'd probably be nice if I cut her up. She's pregnant. And that's exactly... I was talking to Ellie about this, and that's exactly what Ellie said, and I went, two for one, then. That's vile. That's the worst thing you've ever said. You know what I mean? Nah. (laughs) (laughs) Right, Barry, we're like five minutes in. You've just said... That I'm if just they saying, if a woman's you, not going to have you sex want... with me, I'm going to kill them. Yeah, you said you're going to you're going to kill them <laughs> and eat them if they don't have sex with you. Yeah, you'd go for a fat person, but you don't want to eat fat because fat doesn't taste nice. So you're going for no. Halsey because it's two for one because she's pregnant. That's disgusting. It makes sense though, doesn't it? No, it makes zero sense. That that's got logic to it, mate. You should have just gone for John Barnes. Oh, but he's a bit old and fat. I don't want a fatty man. Oh, yeah, but he's still probably got some muscle. He's got he's some more likely to have him. sex with me. <laughs> yeah, he probably is, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your celebrity? I don't know. I'm going to follow that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I've so, said it, it sounds mental. Right, so I... <laughs> I was going to go for... This is my thought process, okay? I didn't actually go for a woman. Okay. Oh, what, are you bombing a man? No, I'm just not bombing anyone. Fair enough. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> don't know why um, there's so much bomb talk in this. I go was going to go for Will Smith, for Phil Neff. Of course you was. You bloody love Because him. I love him. And I was going to go for his album. You love him more than I love Brian Ortega. I was going to go for his album as well and then just have a full-on Will Smith off. <laughs> like, He's just going to sing it, yeah. <laughs> he was just going to sing Miami to me. Like, it's going to be a live performance 24 hours a day. But then I thought, no, that's a cop-out because I'm just choosing Will Smith for everything. So I've gone for Clive Tildesley. Who the fuck's Clive, Clive Tildesley? <laughs> Clive Tildesley's the guy on on FIFA and Premier League games. He's the commentator. Why the fuck have you gone with him? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Because I just wanted him. I just wanted him to sit next to me, okay, and just commentate everything. <laughs> this is the. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's going. And, and, Edwards is going towards the sea. So he's not even calling you Joe, he's calling you by your last name like he would a last footballer. Last name? Yeah, always. And this he's been sly tackled by the wave. <laughs> yeah, I've well, Joe, your camera's like... gone off. Oh. Let's, uh, let's, let's pause, yeah? Let's pause, yeah, go on. We're back. Hi guys, how are you today? It's fine day. It's, uh, it's just one minute past two in the afternoon. Here with Joe Barry on Radio One. That's more like Radio Four. That's where they start drooling. They're speaking so slow. <laughs> Alright, where were we? Um, I'm on the Clive Tilsley. Clive Tilsley. Clive Tilsley. Yeah. So why Good the fuck Clive. have you gone for Clive, Clive Tilsley then? Well, I just thought it would be nice to Explain have, yourself. have a mate who could just commentate everything I did. But what's he bringing to the table? A, the voice of a 
God. <laughs> I can really have any. Is he football, got a speaker? I can really have any football game just by him saying like his iconic moments. Are you taking a football with you? I'm not telling you. Because if he's just like remembering doing commentary, and he's just talking, oh shit! Oh, not my headphone out my ear. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking well work. Uh, yeah, well, Clive's coming, all right. So stop judging. Clive's me. coming, all right. Clive's coming. All right then. So I'm going for Halsey, and you're going for Clive. What's his name? Clive Tilsley. Clive. Clive Tilsley. How do you not know? Do who you remember Clive the commentator? You play, all you do is play FIFA. <laughs> I don't have the sound on. <laughs> <laughs> or do you know, what? if if Clive's not available. If Clive's not available, then I'll go for one of the ones from a different country. You know the ones that, like, when you watch a highlight on go, Twitter, go, go, and it goes, go, 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 That one. Go, Do you remember an old co- old commentator called Alistair Mann? Yeah. Yeah. His first name was A, last name Mann. So on, like, his letters at home, it would be like, to Mr. Mann. No, Mr. Mann. <laughs> That's not not what it would say. A man. It'd say to a man. Well, good. I like the Alistair man. I also like Martin Tyler. Martin Tyler's a good one. Martin, Martin Tyler's the big boy. Martin Tyler's a big boy. But Martin Tyler is the one that did, you know, the Aguero goal when Aguero scored the oh, last yes. minute goal to win it. And he just Aguero! Like, Aguero! That one. Nice anyway. You know that little bit of trivia. Why are we just chatting about, <laughs> about commentators? commentators. <laughs> So you, uh, I'm well, going for someone who could probably help out, who I could maybe have a relationship with, and if she doesn't want that, she's good food. All right, so and me and Clive, and are just you're going have for a someone natter. who talks. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good chatter. Good chat. Yeah, good chat. Do you want to go for your first? I oh, know we're doing album first. Yeah, go on. Do you want me to go first or you? I mean, you went first last time, so you may as well go first again. All right then. Mine's well obvious. Is it arc- if it's like, architect? Obvious. Can you just change your tune? Because I can't be asked. I'm all. I've, I've written architects. I'm going for architects. Can you change it? I don't. I think we should have had a rule oh. and just said that you can't choose architects. Well, now I've got to think of an album off the cuff. Yeah, you'll just choose Halsey, won't you? Because you're that predictable. No, I wouldn't. I'd probably go for something like Sam Fender. Yeah. Yeah, because it's got it, at the start. It starts sort of starts off like a fast album, and then by the end, it's a slow boy. Yeah, that's what I think. That's Need what you want. Variety. That's what you want. You want a variety without choosing now fifty two, really, don't you? Mm. I think Sam Fender fits that nicely. Yeah, I think Sam Fender's a good choice. I think Architects so would have been a cop because they're just your choice for everything. I know, but it's hard not to choose them. They're just too good. Yeah. Know what I mean. Nah. Especially the album I went for. I went for All the Gods Have Abandoned Us, if anyone cares. Bloody amazing album. So, what are you choosing? Uh, which album of Sam Fenders? Uh, is it just called Hypersonic Missiles? I think so, yeah. Yeah. His it's his only album, one. isn't it? Yeah, I think it's his only, his own, his only like proper yeah. album. Mm, going for that one. Good tune. Or good could go for Tom Mish. Oh, oh, this is too much choice, lad. Now you've opened the choice of me wanting to pick Loyal Karna. Oh, I should have gone for Loyal Karna. A bit of Tom Mish, uh, his uh, geography album would be um, uh, Chef Kiss. Chef Kiss? Mm-hmm. No, I'll stick, with, I'll stick with Sam Fender. All right, sweet. Who are you going with? I've gone for Brockhampton. Um, <laughs> Not a clue, that is. I've gone for um, their first album, Saturation, because it's literally got, like, every song is completely different from one another. What music is it? Everything. Literally everything. There's probably a bit of reggae in there somewhere. Bit of a... You know, um, you know, keep a gold chain on my neck. Blah, is a jit. Boy, better treat me with respect. You know that song? No. Oh, well, you get to know. <laughs> <laughs> the smile leaving your face then. Oh. oh. Um, okay. Well, I'm choosing Brockhampton because they are the most versatile fucking band out there, and I can just listen Never to. Never heard of them. Every song's going to be like a different thing. And me and Clive can just bop away. 
<laughs> Just plug it an album. No, because he'll probably choose like the Bee Gees or something. Good old Clyde. <laughs> He's known for liking the Bee Gees. Oh, he chooses architects. And I just go, come on, be more original, Clyde. Jesus. <laughs> Stop copying Barry. <laughs> Stop copying Barry. I know you like him. Jesus. He does. He's, I've, he actually calls me re- quite regularly. Does he? Two times last week. He needs to get a life, doesn't he? Yeah. He tried recreating the Aguero, go, uh, Aguero, but it just wasn't as good. See, I told that's, him to stop faking it. See, that's Martin Tyler. He's just... Yeah. He, he's well, he he's a bit good. of a wannabe, you see. He just tries to be <laughs> Martin Tyler. But he does, he's not getting there. He's, he's just, just not as good. Yeah, it's just a bit embarrassing. Anyway, what the fuck are we going on about? Do you want to know what's more embarrassing? <laughs> is wh- is when, I, when I looked for someone to choose, I just thought of a football commentator and then I looked up the top ten best football commentators <laughs> and chose Clyde. Who's, who's ranking them? Why is there a top ten? Why <laughs> is there know. a top ten? But do you know what's even more stupid, right? Is Clive ranked like fourth, but it also but said in his, it? in his bio bit, of why they he was yeah. chose fourth, it says he's probably the best football commentator, and I was like, "But that don't make sense because you you put him fourth, mate." You, how have you found this list? I don't know, but Martin Tyler was third, but I chose um, Clive Tilsley because he does FIFA. Who was number one? Uh, some dead guy. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we probably don't know him, but he's probably he's probably done the World Cup in the sixties or something. What's your luxury item? Uh, oh, what my first one? Yeah. What do you mean? Of course. So I don't know if you wanted all three at once. Oh no, just go one. Yeah, do one, right. and then we do. Ooh. I do one, 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 one. I'll get the obvious one out of the way. I've gone for a football. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get my list up. Mate, I am going to do Cause... skills on the beach and Clive Tilsley is just going to commentate throughout. I'm just going to do step overs and he's going to go, oh, what a turn by Edwards. He's going to go, Aguero! Do you know what, literally? Gonna, Come on, give it a rest. Give it a rest, stop jizzing your pants. But it's, do you know what, it's probably the saddest thing just having me on a desert island. It's like a seven-year-old's dream. <laughs> I'm doing football tricks with Clive Tilsley commentating. <laughs> It's like when you're like ten and you're in the garden on your own and you're like commentating as you run along and kick it oh, in. Do you, did you ever what? do that? I did that all the time. I still do it sometimes. <laughs> you don't even have a garden and you do it. No, I get strange looks outside. <laughs> like why does he keep shouting his own name whilst he's dribbling the ball? <laughs> oh, I'll go for my first one. Yeah, go on. I've gone for a small axe. Okay, what to to chop up Halsey with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. I thought it'd be useful. I could like chop up vegetables with it. I could chop down some Superstars. trees, make a bit of a shelter. Huh? Superstars, you can chop them up and all, can't you? Superstars. Fucking Halsey. No, I, I thought. You'd, why would you say superstars? Say celebrities. Oh, yeah, but I couldn't think it, of lads. the words. I, the superstar was the first thing that came to my head. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then if she doesn't want to uh, be in an intimate relationship with me, wait for her to be asleep. Yeah. Use the back of the axe, just whack her, knock her out. You're not in her ear. Please don't. No, no, no. This is a very not. different podcast. This is a this is no, turning. I'm not. I think you need to. I think you need to. I think you need to have a word with yourself and just switch up your. No, and then I'm just chopping her up. Okay, you're just chopping her up. That's fine. That's sweet. Just having having a Halsey stew. Yeah. Okay. You're disappointed in me, aren't you? I just don't know what's happening. I thought this was going to be a light-hearted. Oh, look, he's chosen Clive Tilsley. What a bit of banter, you silly boy. What's he chosen a commentator for? And you've gone, I'm going to chop up Halsey and her child. And she's pregnant. Oh, mate. I'm getting... Well, you've got to have a smaller dessert, haven't you? I think this might be our last podcast, to be fair. (laughs) Fuck's sake. Because if I don't end it now, right this second, I think you're going to get locked up. You haven't heard my next item. Oh, go on! What? See, I've gone such a light-hearted approach. You're killing celebrities. <laughs> oh, fuck! 
fuck's sake. Right. Um, you, so you're oh, you're bringing shit. a small axe so you can chop her up. Not just her though. I can chop up vegetables. I can make shelter with it. I can. What I vegetables? Can chop down a tree. I don't know. I might grow some in it. Are you bringing some? No, there might be like berries or something on the island. All Potatoes. Right, what? Chopping up berries on an island. What are you chopping up a berry for? Who chops up berries? Oh, piss off, lad. Loser. Fine, I'm <laughs> hacking away at a leg. Okay. We have, you can finally have your bit of calf, can't you? <laughs> exactly. In the last podcast, you're, I said I want oh, to eat meat. Uh, Bow, you're, meat even. Bow you've, you've missed a trick if you don't bring spaghetti, because if you don't bring spaghetti as an item, you can't have spaghetti carbonara. Oh. <laughs> I'm not bringing spaghetti. I forgot. Oh, you dickhead! You've, you've missed the trick there. <laughs> I um, what's my second one? I want a tent. Oh, that's a fuck. That's bollocks. I thought about taking a tent, but that's just bollocks. You can't have a tent. Well, I've gone for a tent. That's outrageous. We're we gonna do. I'm gonna. Sh- can't chop me up on, up on your island. <laughs> <laughs> You can't take a tent, you've got to make your own shelter. Do you know what the best thing about it is, though? It's just going to be a single-person tent, and I'm just not going to let Clive come in it with me. He can stay <laughs> outside. He just commentates, I'm freezing cold. <laughs> Joe's in his tent, all nice and nice and uh, warm and He's going to be my alarm clock as well. He's basically like the human Siri. He's just going to do everything for me. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> Has he got a chair, or is he standing? No, like, as I said to Alex earlier, I was like, I should have chose deck chairs, and she said, you could just sit on the floor, so he's just going to be... He's just sitting on the floor. Do you know what? I might not even let him sit down. He can just stand up. You're ruining this man's life. You're chopping up children. No. He's not born yet. (laughs) I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. (laughs) You know how we had to bleep... You know how we had to bleep mine out last episode, and mine wasn't even that bad. Yeah. I think a lot of yours is being bleeped out now. No, I'm just gonna leave it. All right, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Well, I think a tent's right, a good one. A cop out of a tent. It's not a cop out, really, is it? I, it is. I've got my axe. I'm gonna chop down shit and make my own shelter. All right, go on. Outrageous. All right, my next one. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry. What are you going for? This is making me look like such a freak. If you pick something really bad, I'm leaving this call right now. No, don't. So if, so it's the worst has come to worst. I've had to chop up Halsey. Yeah. You're not bringing another what celebrity I... along, are you? No, I'm. I'm gonna take a flashlight. <laughs> oh. Break. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to break character quickly, babe. He's, <laughs> he's picking. He's picking Halsey, who he's gonna chop up if she doesn't have sex with him. And then, as one of his luxury items, just in case she doesn't have sex with him, and he chops her up, he's bringing a flashlight. Are you that close, babe? Yeah. No, that's just fucking. What? It's not right. He's not gonna. No, he's not gonna shag her if she's What's dead. He's just gonna kill her. Flashlight. Flashlight. Yeah. What's he gonna do with a flashlight? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, it is ridiculous, oh. pal. You're you're correct. My jaw hurts from fucking laughing so much. Well, go on. G- give it to me then. What are you doing oh. with this flashlight? Tell the people. <laughs> She's having a wank. <laughs> You're having a wank with a flashlight. I'm so sorry. This is the worst thing ever. Oh, I guess you can clean it out with seawater. Yeah, but it might sting when you use it again next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when it starts stinging, you'll get used to it, won't you? So it would just feel like the new normal. True. Nah. <laughs> anyway. What's your... I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm, I feel like I need to say sorry. <laughs> you do have to say sorry. You should. That you should have a warning at the beginning of this oh. podcast. Oh Jesus! Just in case anyone out there's had had someone eat their children. 
It's a normal All thing. All right, to your happen, last item. Um, you got to go for your last one. Well, I'm torn between oh. a uh, big old box of Maryland cookies. Oh, but they'll run out quick. All right, unlimited supply of of Maryland. Are you kind of unlimited supply? Oh, fuck off! That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. All right, I'll have I'll have. Oh, I'm how many fight. how many Maryland cookies will I need? Seventeen. Nah. I'm gonna go. I'll go like four boxes of you know like the big cardboard boxes you see at the top mm. shelf of like off licenses. You're taking the whole box. Yeah, I'm taking like a, a four of them. Okay. That will last me like a year or, or, or two. You said you were torn between two things. What was the other thing that you might have had? Oh, uh, FHM magazine. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing? <laughs> That's worse than all of mine put together. No. Nah. <laughs> what am I going to do? Sit there wanking, staring in the eyes of Clive Tildesley? No, thank you very much. Yeah, apparently. The sound, by the sound of it, you already wank over his voice. <laughs> hey, you. You need to pipe down fucking killing Halsey with your flashlight. <laughs> Not with it, just whacking her. <laughs> Flesh her to death. Getting a, getting a beating. Quite All right, I've got, I've got Jesus. three things. I've got three things written. Yeah. That I can't really choose between, but I'm going to have to. I'll tell you all of them. I've written a football. Yeah. M- maybe. A yoga mat. To, like, sleep on. That's such, that a no- that's such a nothing-y answer. I'm going to get into yoga. Fuck him, man. How are you going to get into yoga? You have nothing to learn off of, apart from Halsey, but she's dead now. I'll get her to teach me before I kill her. All right, fair enough. She gets a little while longer to teach her fucking yoga. <laughs> yeah. And I've written maybe eczema cream. Because <laughs> I'm going to need it. Me. I'm going to need it. You're getting your E45 out. Jesus Christ. No, E45 hurts my skin. That's how sensitive my skin is. You're like a vampire. I know. So yeah, you've I, need, gone... I probably need some eczema cream. Sorry, sorry. So you're, you're going... You're going... <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're going for a small axe so you can chop up Halsey. You're yep. going for a... Sorry, remind me of the second one. A fleshlight. A flashlight. So you can shag. How could you, you forget? Can, so you can have a have, have a shag without shagging Halsey because she doesn't if I have want to. Kill to. Her. Yeah, exactly. And then your third thing is extra cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't breathe. Especially, especially if I have to get in the salt water sea to like get some water to filter it or whatever. Yeah, your skin's going to be water, fucked, mate. It will destroy me. So I'm going to need eczema cream. You'll be like a sandpaper man. I'm going to take like a four litre bottle of eczema cream. All right, sweet. You're going to get through there that in, a, in like a few months. <laughs> Probably. And then fucking Fine. Halsey will be but lighting I, matches I on you. I'll have like a massive barrel. Like you do ba- beers, a barrel beers. Beers a barrel. What's the word? Keg. A keg. <laughs> a beer keg. A beer's a barrel. Of eczema cream. A ba- beer's a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I love a why keg don't of you just, cream. Why don't you just do a two in one and just have a flashlight filled with eczema cream? Well, yeah, I could fill it up and that would make it like good as well. So I might use that as like a, a two, two use product. Oh, what? As like lube? Yeah. All right, sweet. This is such a weird podcast. Well, I don't this even know so where to strange. go from there. <laughs> to be honest. It's so weird. You've stressed me out far too much. I'm so sorry. Usually I'm the one that pushes the pushes the limit a little <laughs> bit. You've actually... I've gone... Right, can, can I just recap what I've done? Go right. On. 
I've gone for a desert island with Clive Tildesley, who's going to be a joyous little <laughs> bit of company who's going to commentate me doing football skills on the pitch, yeah? Yeah. Whilst listening to Brockhampton with my tent, my football, and a box of Maryland cookies. So it's so innocent, all right? Belle, tell, tell the listeners what you're doing. I don't know if I want to. Go on. I just want to hear what you're doing. I've got Halsey, who I'm mm-hmm. most likely going to have to kill because she's not going to have sex with me. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe that's a sentence that I've said. <laughs> 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 Jesus like, Christ! And then, and then I've got like hypersonic missiles playing while I'm hacking and like, hacking away at her. I don't want to be involved anymore. Missiles. I'm done. The blood splurting up. Nah. And then, I've, and then, and then, and loads of extra cream everywhere. Okay. Should we call it here, Belle? And I don't just mean this pod. I think we should just give up. Oh, fuck. They say give oh, up whilst you're ahead. I think we've reached oh, a new low. Oh, I've laughed so much. My face Jesus hurts. Christ almighty. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Can I change one of mine? Actually, no, it don't work. I don't have a video. What were you going to have? Porn? No, I was going to have Bruce Almighty on Blu-ray. <laughs> Out of all the films. Just bring, yeah, I'm going Bruce Almighty. It's my shit. It's oh. my shit. What a podcast. Um, mate, honestly. And we're back. How many technical difficulties do we need? About seven. Okay, seven seven makes one podcast, really, <laughs> doesn't it? My camera fucked up. Now we're back. Um, for the okay, end. Okay, so you guys would have just heard that um, Barry wants to kill Halsey yep. and I want to um, do s- football skills in front of Clive Tildesley. You want to do more than football we're... skills? Oh, I want to give him a good high five, a crisp gonna... high five. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to show him more than just your football. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll show him my testicles. <laughs> that reminds me of at college when we was playing football in one of the classrooms and the teacher came in and like obviously heard the football getting kicked around and he went are you playing football in here and you went no we're playing invisible because <laughs> we're ch- we'd hit oh, the ball oh fucking hell <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> that's probably that's one of the one of the most stupid things I've ever said to a teacher <laughs> I think they mean, even didn't he even just go oh yeah he he wasn't shook even his head annoyed off. Do you remember when <laughs> the teacher know. said who's drawing uh, who's been drawing dicks this on the tables? I've, I've, oh mate, that's one of my favourite things ever. <laughs> so we're sitting we're sitting in a class, me and Belle, and the teacher comes <laughs> comes out and says to everyone, "No, did he say to us? No, no, he said it to everyone." It to everyone? Yeah. Said in the class, he was like, someone's been drawing dicks on the tables. <laughs> Who is it? And you were like, you were like, well, it's not me. I've been drawing tables on the dick. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> oh, man. It was true, though. Well, what, what, what are we doing? With we this are podcast? doing... What, what, what are we the, doing? The, Where are we? The uh, the What's backbone of our podcast. Yeah. Get ready the for the staple. jingle. Get ready for the jingle. High five. I'm, I'm ready. I'm sitting tight. No. I'm here. Keep talking over me, you fuck. Sorry. Sit High five. This bump. No, on. thank you. Go, go, go. Once upon a time, it was Shag, Mary Kill. And then a little birdie told us that's not chill. So then we had to change it in case the podcast hangs. Now it's high five, fist bump, and no thanks. Fuck me. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. What a, what a jingy jongy. You know what it's I mean? It's my favourite jingle of all time. Danny Maldini doing bits, by the way. His name's not that. 
every, all right, I'm going to just say it every podcast until people do. Search up Daniel Maldini and search up Ryan Perkis. Same person, isn't it? It's no. like Clive Tildesley and Martin Tyler. They're both they the are, same, really. They're not. Martin Tyler's much better. No, oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> you, you beat me there. You got me. <laughs> all right, um, who wants to go first? Because we're on a desert, we're going to do desserts. Joe's pun yes, there. That's we from are. Joe. It was comedy it was genius. My... Sorry. Um, I, yeah, I'm going right. So we've got to pick three desserts. One that yeah, will high boy. five, which is rather messy, to be fair. You got high you five, don't want a high five of dessert. Yeah, you, you could do. Have you seen them videos of people taking pictures of their food in the restaurant and people just like smash their food before they yeah, take the photo? It. So good. So good. Or, whilst mm. we're on the topic of weird food things, you know when, like, there's, like, an item and they're videoing it and then randomly someone slices it and it's a cake? Mm. Do you not think that's fucking mental? What, that they're cakes? Yeah, did you see the Did you see the one of the of the dude laying in the, um... Yes, the in guy in the, the hospital bed. In the hospital bed. bed. Yes. That was fucking mad. Yeah. I think the head was real. It was a real man because he was moving a bit. But the yeah. body was fake, and they just cut his arms off. Or it was yeah, real, maybe he was just cake man. Tasty bit of red velvet. <laughs> One of the... Um, it, was, it was so fucking funny. One of the first times Ellie stayed round when we met. Yeah. And I had made... I think I made a crisp sandwich, as I do. Yeah. And I said something... Peasant. I said something to take the piss out of her. Yeah. And she just looks at the sandwich and fucking punches it. <laughs> 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 it's so fucking funny. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what that reminds me of? It's not even our story, but Rob's that just story. reminds me of Rob's croissant story. Have we already told that on the podcast? I don't think so. I can't remember. Well, right. Let me just tell everyone. It's probably not going to be funny to anyone else apart from us. <laughs> it's, the, it's so funny we're, coming we're sitting, from Rob, though. We're sitting in a Starbucks, and our mate Rob, who's like nine foot tall, bit of a cockney <laughs> geezer, looks like the complete opposite to Barry. And yeah. uh, we're sitting in a Starbucks having I'm a short. coffee. No, you're fair, you're quite tall. Yeah, quite tall. I'm big. Yeah, boy. quite tall. <laughs> you're a big boy now. You can get I'm, on some I'm, rides. I'm tall compared to Halsey's baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That shouldn't be a measurement, by the way, Ben. <laughs> how many, how many Halsey's babies are you tall? <laughs> I'm at least five. Jesus. Go on. Rob's story. Um, we're sitting in a Starbucks having a coffee, and um, and he he comes up with a random story. We're all just chatting, and he's like, "Oh yeah, the other day at work." Um, <laughs> I had my lunch sit- and I was sitting there with my lunch and some guy guy came over to me and punched my punched my uh, sandwich. No, it's croissant. And he it's croissant. Yeah. And uh and he was like he was like, "Well, that's just what I do." And Rob was like, <laughs> "Fuck, what the fuck? Like, what's going How do you on? respond to that? It's just what I do." <laughs> okay, it's then. The next time it's the next argue. time Rob saw him sitting there with his lunch, he went over to his lunch and punched it. And went, yeah, that's just what I do. He got his own. Do you not think that's the oddest thing? Imagine someone just comes <laughs> over to you, punches your food, and goes, "Yeah, that's just what it's I just, do." Just what I do. It's just what I do. Actually, is no response to that. You don't know. <laughs> there's nothing to say. Like, what's, what are you going for in the dessert area? Um, well, I'm going to go... Um, oh, fucking... Let's go for... Everything's going to be vegan, obviously. And I'll have to say vegan at least 40 times just to get it across <laughs> to you that it's vegan. You so I'm going to we'll ask go if it's for, vegan as well. We're going to go for a vegan banoffee pie. Is it vegan? Yeah, it's definitely vegan. Okay, just making sure. Just making like ve- sure. Like vegan bananas and vegan um, <clears throat> banoffee pie and and vegan offie. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Stop. Vegan banoffee pie. <laughs> yep. We're gonna have uh, a vegan ice cream sundae with e- vegan ice cream. Is it vegan? Yeah, it's definitely vegan. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Yeah. And we're gonna go for a vegan. Colin the Caterpillar from M and S. Is it vegan though? Yeah, it's definitely okay, vegan. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I'm just making sure it's vegan. Yeah, it is vegan. Okay, good, good. Yeah, 
Uh, what the fuck's a banoffee pie? It's like banana and toffee pie. Mm. I'm gonna probably it's say pen. no. I'm gonna say no. Thank you to that. Well, because you've not had it, because you're an uncultured swine. Yeah, exactly. No, I don't. I don't I've really made like it vegan, especially. I don't really like banana stuff unless it's just an actual banana. All right. Like on their own, bananas are lovely. But if like a banana milkshake or like banana and ice cream, I just hate it. Do you? Yeah, I don't like taste. I just like a banana That's on its own. It's very insightful, Bao. Thanks yeah, for I'm that. Yeah, just letting you know. Also, I'm vegan. Right. Did you know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's the second one? Um, ice cream Sunday. Ice cream set, you can't go wrong. I'm giving that a high five. Bit messy. Yeah, but you also... It's not a very, hi- it's not a very high fiveable um, dessert, it is, is it? It is, it is. It's going to be a long high five. Okay. It's going to be a good good one. And then I'm going right. to fist bump Colin the Caterpillar because you can chop him up and have him like different days, couldn't you? Oh, mate. You've got to savour the Colin. You are, exactly. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm fist bumping him. That's a good shout. Mm. I'd agree with your selections there. Thank you. But just much. just to clarify, everything's vegan, okay? So you can you could it have is. all of them if you wanted to. I'm, ju- I'm yeah. just making sure it is. Yeah, so you're fine. All right. For your desserts. Yeah. I'm going to give you... Uh, Clive Tilsley. <laughs> it's not a <laughs> dessert. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat... Anything, okay? He's a he's a snack, isn't he? He is. You've got to eat him. Do I get him with ice cream at least? C- Clive T- Clive Tilsley, with ice cream. A bit. You have to eat the ice cream off of him. Wait, wait, wait. Is this vegan? It is vegan. I'm afraid. <laughs> vegan Clive Tilsley with ice cream. This is mad. What's going you've on? You've got a vegan Clive Tilsley with ice cream, yeah, and then you've good, got. Good. You've got Halsey's baby with custard. Is that vegan? Of course it's vegan, Kai. Outpro. And also uh, the baby. Outpro baby? Well. It's an outpro okay. baby. <laughs> <laughs> outpro custard vegan Halsey baby. Yeah. And uh, the fleshlight that I've used. <laughs> Cover I've the used next fleshlight. Green. And and other stuff. I've given you free desserts, and you've given me objects on the desert. Yeah, but you, yeah, you got to eat them. But they're not edible. Yeah, but you got to try your best. Well, two of them are edible. Humans edible, isn't it? Really? Just if you're brave enough. I don't think I'm brave enough. Wait, is the (laughs) fleshlight vegan? It it is. Okay. I'm glad you asked, because okay. I wanted to clarify, it, it is, yes. Okay, so, as a vegan, mm-hmm. You're not I would vegan. choose all of them, but I'm not vegan. Mm. So I might have to just pass on, on, on all of them. No, no, you've got a high five <laughs> no, I'm one, a fist bump one. I'm a high five. I'm going to high five Clive Tilsley and ice cream. Okay, that's a pretty good one to high five. I think he's got really good high five technique, and is, I don't, I don't rate, I don't rate the high five technique of a, of an out pro baby. That's the weirdest mortal. fucking sentence I've ever said in my life. What did you say? I said I don't rate the high five ability of an out pro baby. <laughs> <laughs> this has had some weird fucking sentences. This podcast. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna high five Clive Tilsley with ice cream. Uh huh. Um. I'm going to... Oh, man, the fleshlight's used, so I'm prob- I've just got by a pass me as on well. that one. Yeah. You're going to have to say no uh, And also, also, the side, everything else had a side. The fleshlight's got a side of eczema cream, so I, don't, I think I'm just going to say no thank you to that. And pass I hate it that. when my dessert comes with a side of eczema cream. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the worst thing that can happen, really. For fuck's sake. It's not much worse than that. And um, and I reckon. I'm so you're just fist bumping to... Halsey's custard fist baby. Fist bump the out pro baby. Yeah, because I don't have to have the baby. I'll just eat the custard. You're gonna lick the baby clean. All right, should we call yeah. it there? And then and then uh, and then I'll <laughs> teach him how to high five. 
Because his technique is poor. It's poor technique from the Al Pro baby. Even Clive <laughs> said so. Well, his technique's good. Uh, um, we both teach the baby. Right. Should we just finish? So that, was the, that was the weirdest thing we've ever conversed about, really. That's the worst podcast we've ever done. I think and our first three done. podcasts were fucking awful. And somehow this, this is, is the brilliant. worst one. I think it's brilliant. All right. <laughs> um, well, guys, we've co- we, just just to just to let you know, this is a one-off, ridiculous podcast. I don't, honestly don't know how this one happened, but um, <laughs> somehow we've made it through. It? No, well, if you're no, this we'll far say sorry, through. but. We've yeah. we've got a whole list of ideas and they do get better, I promise you. They might okay? not they might not. We just did not think in a million years, well I didn't think in a million years that a Desert Island podcast would come to this. So I do sincerely apologise to everyone. It's brilliant listening. though. <laughs> Fuck so. Um Sorry. Oh. Sorry guys. So sorry. Thank you for listening. This we'll has be been back Save at some podcast. point. We're st- yeah. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Fuck me. Oh.